Greetings, Night Runners, and welcome to our look at the next day of attacking the Sand Sending Cycle, the Underway. First, we'll be looking at the Corp cards, starting with Test Ground. The Corps have got a bunch of new assets that can be advanced. This one has Trash, Derez, one card for each advancement token on Test Ground. Now, that's not as useful as some of the other ones we'll be seeing in a second, but it can be handy. Next, we have Effective Brain Chips, Operation Current. As always, these operations don't go away until another one is played, or you trust in the agenda. The first time the runner takes brain damage each turn, he or she takes one additional brain damage. Now this is mainly intended for use against the cybernetics that have been brought out in the new San San cycle, but uh, that could be handy for some of the Jinteki trap ice as well, just to get that extra bit of damage. Next we have Allele Repression, the Jinteki asset be advanced and trash swap one card in each cube with one card in archives for each advancement token on the repression. So if you've used a lot of your money gain already, you can use this to get all those cards back again and get your economy going again. Next we have Marcus Batty, a new system ops Psy for Gentechi. He has trash. You and the runner secretly spend one zero one or two. Reveal spent credits. If you and the runner spent a different number of credits, re resolve one subroutine on a resed piece of ice protecting the server. Use this ability during a run on the server. Now, think about that. If you've got some of the more dangerous pieces of Jinteki ice protecting the server, you can use this guy and make the runner effectively take the worst subroutine twice. So that is amazing. Next, we have NBN. And this is their new asset. Expose. Yeah, it's trash, remove one bad publicity for each advancement token on Expose. Yeah, it can be handy because you can take a lot of bad publicity when using and taking lots of tags, but it's not that great, especially since it costs two. Next, we have their new piece of ice, which is very good Pachinko. End the run if the runner is tagged, and then the run if the runner is tagged, and it costs only one with a strength of four. That is one of the best pieces of NBN ice I've ever seen. They have got so much stuff that gives their own tags. Now, if you've got this one in play, you can get a resolve for extremely cheap. It's fairly strong for a one cost piece of ice. And if the runner is tagged, you're ending the run. And you either have to break it twice to get faster. It's a brilliant piece of ice that we will be definitely putting in my NBN deck. Next, we have for Wayland. The Underway Renovation is a new one of the public agendas and can be uh, installed face up. Whenever you advance Underway Renovations, trash the top card of the runner's stack, or two cards if there are four more advancement tokens on Underway Renovations. So you can use this as a way to trash the runner's stack, and that would be a massive distraction for them. They would have to go after this agenda, even though it's only at 1.1. While you might be able to build a 3.1 in another server. Next, we have Contract Killer. It's Wayland's advanceable asset, and this one has if there are at least two advancement tokens on Contract Killer, Contract Killer it gains click, trash, a connection, or do two meat damage. So you could do two meat damage to the runner just out of thin air, or you could kill one of their connections right when they need it. And that is extremely handy, especially if you can get them into a position where they're about to hit a load of traps going through, or ice that's going to deal damage, and then just one click and deal the last two. Next we have Spiral, a new piece of ice for Wayland. Cost four, only strength of two, but has three in the run subroutines. So I can see this going in some decks. And finally, we have the Underway Grid, Upgrade Region, Ice Protecting the Server Cannot Be Bypassed, Cards in the protect and Protecting the Server Cannot Be Exposed, now this is really good if you want to protect or at least set a trap for the runner, since they won't be able to expose your cards, they won't be able to bypass the ice, so they're going to have to run it, and if there's a trap at the end, this would be amazing in a Gentechi deck. Right, see you next time, next runners, when we're, next runners, when we're looking at the runner cards. Bye.